Hey, welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. What I do know is that this is a collab between myself and the beautiful Nona. Because we were chatting the other day, saying about how many eyeshadow palettes we've got, and I'm like, do you know what? I would. F I've seen the one going round where people do the if I could only have ten palettes, and I said to Nona, there's no way I could narrow mine down to ten. It just, it's not possible. There is no way I could narrow all of mine down to ten palettes, and she agreed. So we decided we would do our own version. Starting with palettes, but working our way through other items like foundation, blushes, highlighters, etc. We, if we had to restart our makeup collection, what are the 20 palettes that we would have to have in our collections? So if you want to find out which palettes I consider must-haves, then you're in precisely the right place, sweetie. Because I'm about to tell you. Right, um, it is now half past five in the evening. There's a good chance the hubby could arrive home while I'm filming this. So we'll, we'll just bear that in mind. Depends how much I waffle. Um, and rather than get a pile of 20 palettes in front of me and risk dropping them and damaging my 20 favourite palettes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide you that way, just a bit, and I'm going to put pictures of the palette up there. Because I just... I don't want to risk damaging my favourite palettes. It's as simple as that. I've had a two day migraine. I'm still feeling a bit fuzzy today and the light. I've already managed to drop a cup. Thankfully it didn't break, it was plastic. And a plate, which thankfully fell onto the sofa. So, again, it was fine. But I thought there's no way I'm getting my stack of palettes out and risking damaging them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put the picture up there for you. So what I have done because in a lot of cases I mean I, I would want pretty much all of my Jeffreys. I would want all of my blush tribes. I would want all of my September rose. I would want all of my oh my glitters. I want all of my certify. I would want uh, all of my Kaleidos. So I limited myself. To a maximum of two from each brand. So if you if you've seen me use a palette and you've heard me say, "Oh, I love this palette. It's one of my absolute favourites." It doesn't appear on this list. It's because there were two others from that brand that I preferred. Does that make sense? I hope so. Right. So in reverse order, let's start from the bottom and. Work my way up. Actually, no, sort of. Let's just. Right, I'm going to tell you my favourite palette, and then the rest of them are in no particular order. I think that's probably going to be the easiest. Because I'm not sure I could order the rest of these, to be honest. That, that would give me a headache. Right, my absolute favourite must have, if I could only have one palette ever, palette would be. No, not Jeffree Star. It would be Blush Tribe Hasina 2 because that, that is me in a palette. Blue, green, purple. That's just me in a palette. So that's my absolute top palette. Um, the other palette I would choose from all of my Blush Tribe palettes um, would have to be the Paulina. I love the colour story that she chose for that. Um, 
yeah, th those would be my two blush tribe choices. Moving on to my Jeffree Stars. I would have to have the Alien palette. I love the grungy shades in that. I love the, the kind of duochromes that he's got in there. It's a bitch to store with those 3D eyes on the front. But it's still, I think, his best palette. The second one I would choose from... Uh, Jeffree Star, sorry my brother-in-law's just texted me, is Jawbreaker. I know you were expecting me to say the Conspiracy palette because it is the most recent, it's the one I've played with most recently, but Jawbreaker has so many beautiful colours in and Prularoo, Prularoo, sorry Pro, that was probably an awful accent, did a film where she compared, because uh, Long-term viewers will know that I will not use Kat Von D on my channel. Um, there's a whole hoo-ha about that. There's a, I think it's the one drama film that I've actually got uploaded onto my channel. Um, but she compared that the one palette of Kat Von D's that I see come up on selling sites and I still hover my finger over it thinking well, I'm not actually giving the money to Kat Von D, she's already had the money for this one and I know I couldn't use it on camera but I could use it. Is the pastel goth palette that she did. But Pro Row compared the pastel goth to Jawbreaker and all of the shades in pastel goth you can find in Jawbreaker. I think apart from the grey. But there's a grey in Alien, so... So, Prue, thank you so much for doing that. I no longer feel the need to hover over that one and have a battle with myself. So yeah, Alien and Jawbreaker are the two Jeffree Star ones that I would choose. Uh, moving on to September Rose. Um, it's on the wall behind me. It's the Slush Palette. The first Slush Palette, because that has a mixture of um, mattes and shimmers whereas the second slush palette is all mattes and it's a sister palette to this because it continues the same colour theme but it has deeper shades so it gives you more options in terms of depth of building a look but I would have to have the original uh, slush palette and I know you're thinking I'm going to say slush too but I'm not I'm going to say the Brew palette because this is a neutral palette that is interesting to me and I figure I should have at least one neutral palette um, in my list of palettes so that if I did have to go somewhere where I needed to do work appropriate, sensible, neutral look wearable, all looks are wearable, if they're on your face you're wearing them, they're wearable um, but I thought I'd better have at least one um, neutral or more neutral palette and um, I really like brew, I use that a lot actually on days when I'm in a lot of pain and I just need to do something so that I don't look horrific if I'm going somewhere where there's likely to be photos taken and I just don't want to look awful I'll do concealer on the dark circles and any blemishes that have cropped up I'll do bronzer and blush so that if I do end up getting pale with pain I don't look pasty white and spiteful um, and I will use one of the colours from the brew palette as a one and done because I know that any of those colours that I pick will work, they'll blend beautifully, they'll look amazing. So that's my two choices from September Rose. Moving on to Oh My Glitter, Oh My Gosh. Um, and obviously Blush Tribe, September Rose, uh, Oh My Glitter, I do have codes with. That's not why they're on the list. Um, 
all my codes are listed in my description box. They all claim, they all state whether I earn from them or not. I just thought I'd better mention that because of the new guidelines and stuff that are out in America. And I know a lot of my viewers are American. Hi. Right. So moving on to the Oh My Glitter Oh My OMG um, palettes. First one would have to be that Halloween palette of theirs from the mystery box. Oh, that was amazing. I, oh, just, wow. Um, it was the first time I'd tried their matte formula. I'd only ever tried their satins and shimmers and loose pigments before. It's the first time I'd tried their, their pressed matte formula and, oh my goodness. I can see why it's OMG because it's such an amazing palette. Um, again, it's one that I've used an awful lot off camera. Um because it's just got so many colours in it that call to me. And the other one, this was so difficult to start to decide because obviously I've got the new Winter Wonderland one that arrived, which was in the Winter Wonderland mystery box, but I would have to go for the Lexicon palette. I'd have to. The gorgeous duochromes, they're pretty much all duochrome. Um, and of course, the outside of the palette is just stunning. Um, if you want to see me do a look with Lexicon, let me know, and I will most certainly do so. Uh, so how many am I up to now? That's eight. Right. Nine and ten. Certify. The first one of theirs that I want is the first palette of theirs I bought which is the Destiny palette which is the one in the black packaging I really like the colour tones for that perfect for autumn winter if you do theme your shadows to the seasons um, really a beautifully pigmented awesome blending just and again a really nice colour story I'm going to say the same about a lot of these because it's palettes that I like. So they're all going to be good colour stories. They're all going to be great blending. They're, they're, you get my drift, right? Yeah. Um, and the second certified one would be the Tropical Wonders. So I'd kind of got the autumn winter one and then like a spring summer, more of like a rainbowy palette. Um, because I... Uh, I was tempted by Affinity 2, which is their blue and green one. I thought, no, I've got blues and greens in Hasina 2. So, and I've got blues and greens in Slush. So I thought, no, I'll choose one that's more, more variety of shades. So I went for the Tropical Wonders. Juvia's Place. This was a hard one for me. The first one was really easy to choose. That was Tribe. Um, that's my most recent Juvia's purchase uh, and my husband bought that for me so of course that has to be on there um, trying to narrow down all of my other Juvia's Place palettes that I've got I ended up choosing the Douce or Douce palette oh that's the husband calling hold on I am back um, yeah, the Douce or Douce palette. Um, it's an unusual choice of colours, but I like it. Um, it. It's one of those ones where I, every time I pick that up, I can see a different look that I want to do, rather than continually wanting to do the same looks all the time. So, yeah. Kaleidos trying to narrow down my five Kaleidos palettes. <sighs> that could be what gave me the two day migraine. That was almost more difficult than narrowing down my Jeffree Star ones. Yeah. But I would have to go for Sci-Fi Green. That's the one that's called to me all the way through. Um, ended up being the third one that I actually managed to acquire. But, uh, yeah, Sci-Fi Green would absolutely be my first choice. 
My second choice is my second more neutral palette. It's the Cyber Bronze, mainly for that metallic red and that metallic silver. Because Christmas time, metallic red, metallic silver. Hello, perfect. So that's the two Kaleidos palettes I would have chosen. Colourpop. Now trying to narrow down Colourpop is a nightmare because I've got an awful lot of their nine pan palettes. I even I put a thing up on Insta saying, if you've got orange you glad and soul, why would you need the peach one as well? Or if you've got the orange one and the peach one, why would you need soul? Or if you've got soul, why would you... Yeah, I ended up buying all three. They came up on Depop and it was a pain somnia purchase and I'm kind of having kleptomania. I'm really desperately trying not to buy the coconut one. I'm trying to break the theme by not buying the coconut one. But the mint one that's just come out? Oh. Anyway. So, the first Colourpop palette that I chose it's actually not a nine pound palette. It's the Good Sport palette. Absolutely love that palette. It's it really hit the mark when I bought that. That was real kind of grungy. It was around about the same time as the Gemini palette came out from Melt, which I couldn't afford, and there were a lot of similar shades in there. Um, so it really called to me that one, and I, that is by far my most used of my Colourpop palettes. And then from the nine pans, again, narrowing that down, not easy, but I ended up going for just my luck, the green one, because I've got green eyes, green shadows on green eyes, purple shadows on green eyes look good too, but green shadows on green eyes, on my particular shade of green, really pops, so that was the one that I chose from there, down to my last four, and this is where things got tricky. Um, Coloured Rain, I put the Safari Rain palette in. Love the shades in that, absolutely love it. And again, that was a present from the husband, so that's why that one had to go in. I, I just love the colour thing. I, I mean, he's bought me other palettes as well uh, that are not in here. He bought me the... Um, BH Zodiac Love palette he bought me, which is not on the list, but Safari Rain, absolutely in the list, absolutely. And then I thought, <sighs> Urban Decay, I've got a couple of Urban Decay palettes, and I was tempted to put the electric palette in, but then I thought, I've got a lot of bright colours in the Jawbreaker from Jeffrey, so I don't really need the electric one. Plus the electric one's getting a little bit old now. You kind of have to work to get that pigment to go. And I don't know if you saw one of my more recent films, the I know I anti-hauled it, but... Um, yeah, I've put the Naked Honey on here because, again, that's my third of the more neutral palettes. But I really love the colour scheme of that. I, I, what's wrong with me? I've got three neutral palettes on here. Who, who, who am I? I don't understand. Anyway, naked, naked honey's on here. My melt smoke sessions palette had to go on cost me a damn fortune, I'm not including that in my top 20, but again, I really like the formula for that. Um, it did arrive bastard at mine, so it doesn't look as neat and tidy as it could do, but thankfully I was able to squish the shimmers back down um, and use a bit of uh, rubbing alcohol to push them back into place. And the final palette on my 20 palettes that I would choose is my Pinky Rose Bright Lights palette because I wanted another bright, sparkly, pretty palette. So, 
there you go that is my 20 palettes that I must have in my collection now I'm going to need you to go across and check out Nona's channel now because I'm really interested to find out what her 20 palettes are uh, I'm guessing there's probably going to be more neutral palettes in hers than there are in mine but she might surprise us because she has been sort of stepping outside of her comfort zone and hitting more colourful colour more colourful colours, more colourful palettes um, especially in collabs and stuff that she's been doing where it's kind of forced her to, to step outside and try more colours but she does fantastically, she really has got a good eye for for choosing colours that work well together and don't muddy up so I'm while you're watching me I'm, I'm watching her so I do need you to, to go across and check out her channel please and just you know, give her a like, do all those good YouTuber things, give her a like, give her a comment. If you're not already following her, what are you doing with your life? She's amazing. Hit that follow button. Come on, subscribe. The woman's amazing. Um, if you're one of my YouTube family already, please check. You are still subscribed. YouTube are deleting people. Um, it's, uh, it's so frustrating. Um, so yeah, please check you're still here, even if I'm still in your newsfeed. Uh, if, the, if you are here from Nona's channel, or you stumble over me by complete accident, hi, hello, welcome. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, this blethering. Uh, I've got an awful lot of other films you can watch, including this eye look, which I'm not sure if it's up yet. If it is, I'll try and remember to link it in the description box below but knowing me I'll forget so give me a nudge and I'll update it or I'll put a pin comment on or something um, it'd be awesome if you too would like to join the 4F family by hitting that subscribe button and then the notification bell and then hopefully YouTube will actually tell you when I put a film up if you're not sure yet as I said there's an awful lot of other films of mine that you can watch to decide whether or not you want to join the ranks of the 4F family. Right, I'm starting to repeat myself. I'm blethering. The husband's going to come stumbling through that front door any minute now. So uh, I'm going to finish off, as I always do, by saying, you'll stay fabulous, and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.